Hey everyone, Dark Paul here, and welcome back to Game Destroyers TV. So, shut up! We're back in Subnautica, and we're gonna have some fun again. But before I play this message, if you're new here, why not hit the subscribe button? And if you're watching on an embedded video, come over and check us out. We have plenty of content going out every day. So, Sunbeam broadcasting to all survivors of the Aurora. We've covered more than half the distance, so hold on in there. We're scanning the planet for dry land as we speak. You couldn't have picked a less convenient parking spot. But we'll be in touch as soon as we have a landing site for you. Sunbeam out. Okay. Now, there was something I wanted to check. I seen beacons. That's copper wire it requires and titanium. Do I ha I have copper. I know I have copper. Copper on me, but I think I've got some more kicking around. Oh, I've got plenty. Let's make a couple of beacons to carry around with me. Uh, power cell I want to keep on me. Battery can go in there. Boomerangs I've got to cook. Uh, it's a decomposing. Ah, how much will I want to keep? So. Copper wire, first of all. Electronics. Oh, it takes two to make one, so I need to grab some more copper wire. Copper. I should say, not copper wire. Actually, how many do I have on me? Three. I'll take one more. I'm going to make three beacons to take with me. And that way, I'm going to go out and do a little bit of exploring this episode. Because we can dive deeper now with our sea moth. I'm gonna see what we can find. Beacon! Beacon! And one more beacon. There we go. Three beacons. Not bad. So. I think, and well, they don't take much room at all. Uh, I don't think I can salt any food. I don't. Have any, I do have salt in my storage. I've got quartz. I've got one salt deposit, so I can salt cure one fish. Cured boomerang. And that should be all she wrote. And when we get out, I've got to remember and dump that decomposing peeper away. Okay, so our health's slowly regenerating, but we now have 300 meter depth. And over the next few days, the area around about the Aurora is going to start to no longer be radioactive. So I'm going to go this way, I think. I want to check off the Aurora. I'm not going to go too far out. I know there's islands and that out there and everyone's going, go to the islands, go to the islands. I'm trying to follow the storyline on that. You know, it's uh, just a, my personal pr opinion of the way I want to play through this. I want to follow the, the storyline a little. Fortunately, my health slowly recovering. Oh, there's like a kelp forest here. So we're gonna kind of head this way, I think. And the reason I've got uh, some beacons is so I can mark interesting locations as we find them. Those are propulsion cannon fragments by the looks of them. I don't need those. Ow! Stop ramming my ship! Wow, there's a lot of those guys about here. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Uh, what is that? Yeah, 
I want the scanner, not the... Oh, I don't think it's anything. To be honest, doesn't seem to be anyway. Ah, oh, I got my hopes up for nothing. Anything about here I can scan? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I thought that was part of the the prone or something. I was going to be able to scan it. No. Nope. Okay. Let us continue on. Or maybe a robot arm for the <laughs> the Seamoth. Hell, I don't know. Oh, wow, look at this. What is that? Oh, it's a coral brain thing. Wow, look at this place. That's cool. Oh, there's a, a resource though. I'm gonna jump out and break loose. Gold. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So where are we in location to the Aurora? Let's surface a minute and find and get our bearings. Figure out which way we're going. There's a reef back there. Titanium scrap. Lots of that around. Wow, look at this place. You know, I never checked to see if uh, I had all the parts of the Cyclops yet. I need to do that at some point. What is in you? Oh, water. Always need more. That's a. Uh, <laughs> That's not nice. You go away. I am not here. You did not see me. I am not edible. Leave me alone. Wow, there's bits of ship everywhere lying around here. God, sand sharks keep attacking my ship. Look at this place. Dark and deep. I wonder how deep I need to go to find a diamond. I'm not entirely sure, but that's another one of them big frigging things I don't want to mess with. That I do know. Okay, I, I'm climbing, I am climbing. <laughs> Good god, I'm glad I don't get the bends in this game. Of course the sun's set now that I'm going up. So I'm gonna have to try and figure out where I am in the dark. I'm actually pointing back towards where I came from, so... Unfortunately it's now dark, I can't see a freaking thing. Oh, I am so enjoying playing this though. I'm glad I didn't... I know I, I have watched some videos and things like that on it, uh... Fortunately, the videos I watch are pretty chopped up, and I'm doing a, just about a nearly continuous playthrough. I do do resource gathering sometimes off of camera. 
but all the exploration, as you you know, has seen, I, I'm doing on camera. So, okay, we're on the back side of the Aurora again. So, let's see what's down here. If anything, good God, it's dark. I don't see anything. I can't see anything. It's, I mean, I'm literally, I'm only 70 meters down and it's total darkness. Am I going to have to wait on the day? Okay, well here is... Another thing that attacks me. Let's go down here. Now that we've got some some terrain we can follow, we can actually see roughly where we're going. I don't even think I can get deep enough down here to get to the bottom of this. All right, the big lump of quartz. Oh, that bottomed out really quickly there. I may have to stop in a minute and uh, <laughs> repair, keep bumping into things. Because I cannot. For the life of me, see. Okay, well, I'm still beside the Aurora by the looks of it. I may go to the, you know, the the end where we normally go into the Aurora and try diving down there. See if we can find anything in the deeper water there. We shall see. We shall see. I'm hoping the sun's gonna come up soon. Let me surface and try and get a idea of what we're doing. Okay, I need to Drink that. I have no food on me, apart from one nutrient block and one cured boomerang. I'll eat the cured boomerang, and that will keep me at least sustained for now. I've also got to watch my energy on this. I'm not sure how you change the uh, power cell. I'll have to figure that out at some point. And I don't really want to do that when I'm at 300 meter depth. That would not be fun. Man, would the sun hurry up and come up? It seems that uh, the daytime is getting shorter and the nighttime is long as hell. Oh, you're kidding. I hit right mouse button and it turned on a flashlight. There's a reef back there. This water's deep. Oh. Oh. Oh, what have I found? I have found something scary. The hell is that thing? I have never seen that electrical thing in a in anyone's playthrough. A 
Okay, I think it kind of swam away. Okay, so I'm going to park kind of close to this here. So I can get back into my Seamoth quickly. So I don't drown. Have I been here already? Okay, I've got to backtrack a second and get more oxygen. The problem of not having being able to use the uh, rebreather at the moment. I'm so deep down, you just use up oxygen really quickly. That thing it sounds so creepy. Okay, well I can't go through that way. I need a diamond for that. Okay, vehicle modification station fragment. Which is nice. Oh man, 30 seconds left again. Oh, quickly, quickly, back into the Seamoth. Let me into the Zemo. I'm clicking and clicking and clicking and not getting anywhere. Wow, well, I wonder if I can get maybe a diamond in this area? Oh yeah, maybe a diamond. What was that? Lithium. Getting a lot of lithium. That's salt. Ow, 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 that's hot. I wish I could really, I really could do with finding a diamond. It's the one item I've not been able to find easily. I don't even think I'm getting really deep enough to be able to find them yet. To be honest. I'm going to continue searching around this area though. Kind of unique area. That's for certain. Oh, is that a life pod down there? It is. You always get out the back of the life of the sea moss. Anything of use? Fire extinguisher, don't need. You are freaky looking. Do not want to be near him. He sounds really dangerous. Bzz, 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 bzz. 
Fortunately, the CMOS has good acceleration. Gold ore. Wow, that's a lot of stuff out of here. Okay, I'm at 286. Just titanium, damn it. I was hoping that was going to be a diamond. <laughs> It's all right, I'm going back up the way. Wow, is this stuff screwing everywhere? More copper. I won't say no. This is amazing. I should have put a beacon on that wreck. Let me go back and mark it with a beacon that we can come back to. If I can find it again now. I know it was near the volcanoes, so wherever they were. Great, now I can't find it. <laughs> Yay me! Okay, I think I found the volcanic area again. Yeah, there's that life pod, so... There's the wreck. Looking just to make sure there's no other way into that. Doesn't look like it though. So I'll have to come back here with the laser cutter as well. Wow. Okay. Uh, I went longer than I expected with this episode. So we'll be back again tomorrow with another one. Till then everyone. Stay safe.